Now, we're going to finish the programme today on a very interesting subject because we were reading this week about millions of people, absolutely millions of people here in London and the southeast of England. Um, apparently, there's some sort of scare going around that water's going to be rationed and they run the risk of running out of drinking water over the next 10 years or so. Yeah, that's according to some campaigners. The UK government is recommending that six to eight glasses of water a day are consumed. So we're asking this morning, what is the best way to drink the right amount of water? And we're joined now by certified water sommelier, Milan Patel. Just run that past me again. What's that? Water sommelier. sommelier. Yeah, like really? A, a taste, a water taste expert. Like as if, as if he can tell the difference between water. You see, a lot of yes. people, Milan, this is Milan Patel, a lot of people, Milan, will think all water tastes the same but you're going to take us through several varieties. That's right, um, <laughs> Milan Patel, water consultant for 20 years, water sommelier. I'm here to hydrate your imagination oh, with water it. as unique as you. So first of all, <laughs> we're going to start off with a very special water, tap water. Okay. We and are very lucky. GB News tap water. No, this is from a water dispenser um, promoted by the uh, Mayor of London, and Thames water from Fulham Broadway. And so this how is... should we consume water to get the best taste? Is it the same as wine with a swirl? Yes, swirl give and... water value <laughs> from a beautiful stemware. Why not? Okay. We give it to wine. So, Ooh. so you get a calcium level. You get a slight hint of chlorine there. Yeah, it's yeah. very heavy on the palate. Yeah, it definitely has an it's antiseptic like sort of... Um, t can you not taste the chemicals in it? Mm -mm. Very obvious to me. Without this, we're going to be going back to the Victorian days of cholera epidemics yeah. without the additional chlorine. But there are ways to fix okay. this. The second water that I'd like to introduce... That wouldn't really make me lick my lips and say I fancy a glass of that. That but is for hydration. If it was cold, if it, was cold it might be... Yes, temperature plays a huge role. The next wa uh, water would be Aquapax. Mm -hmm. And I encourage the government to look at um, sustainable packaged waters, remove the one-use plastic bottled waters from the supermarket shelves and water on the go should be more off a carton based. Now, does that disintegrate that carton? It's, um, it can be recyclable right. a lot easier than plastic. And um, I'm starting a campaign next week to urge the government by 2024 to drop a single use plastic bottled yeah. water. Fantastic campaign. Yes. And um, I think it's very important for the children to have more academic yeah, learning about the source of water and where it's from to create a drinking water mm -hmm. lifestyle. Well, what? Taste on the other side. I mean, I'm really sorry. I've, I've just got a poisoned palate. I can't tell. You might be slightly dehydrated, I'm, I'm but always dehydrated. it takes a bit of time to taste water. I think that tastes smooth. Is that a fair wow. comment? Wow, what a beautiful vocabulary you've just okay, used. Thank See? you. Thank you. It's there. It was sort of, yeah, We've smooth. just never been taught or educated for generations to describe the taste of water and they all taste different. So well, gonna... I quite like carbonated water. Oh. I'm a Philistine with that. Yeah. Carbonated water is brilliant. It oh. brings bubbles of joy. The carbonation levels pair brilliant with foods or wines. But, but does it also... still hydrate you? It does oh, indeed and it. stimulates the digestive system as well. Mm -hmm. So I've got a very special water from Slovenia. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. thank you. Now, just because I've watched a documentary on water yes. with Zac Efron, yes. I'm suspicious that this is going to have a high mineral content. You're right. It's one of the world's richest waters. It's medically certified as well. Well, that tastes like, wow. that almost tastes like liver salts. Yes. It, for me, um, I would describe it as a sherbety, sweet Ooh, sherbety it's taste fizzy. at the end. It, it is. Fizzy. Like and Mother Nature put the bubbles. Soda almost, mm. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Very good for you. High in magnesium, like calcium. That. This is a great water for maybe hungover or if you want to perk yourself up, health and well-being. Right, what's the name of Very, that one? <laughs> uh, Donat MG from a Slovenia. Of Five pounds yes. a pop though, but you know, it's quite nice. Mm. And then the next wow. water we've got here is a very beautiful water. It's called Cloud Juice from King Island, Tasmania. So it's virgin rainwater straight from the clouds. Carbon footprint though. Carbon footprint. In this world, there is a carbon yeah. footprint on everything. This is an experience water. You have tap water for hydration and then you have waters for celebration to enjoy. And what's amazing about this water is Bob Marley said, you know, some people um, feel the rain, taste the rain, others just get wet. So it's one of these waters yeah. that creates a nice experience with loved ones or on a dinner table. It's not everyday hydration. 
Isn't so, he wonderful? I love it. Yeah, it's enthusiasm. Like so what's this one Can called? Can we become water um, snobs juice. then? Are we... Not water snobs, water Tom. ambassadors. Yeah. You know, you. sharing the vocabulary okay. of how to describe water. See, I can tell when I go home, the water in Belfast tastes different than the water in London, for instance. Absolutely. Regionally, true. will water taste different? It does indeed, because it all depends on the minerals um, within the soils, the uh, calciums, the magnesiums, and these are Mother Nature's ingredients that provide the mouthfeel and taste. See, I can tell why you wanted the order to be different. You wanted the Bulgarian one last because actually coming yes. afterwards, this tastes quite bland. That's but right. But again, I think it's it tastes like water, like it, yeah, you know. Yeah. So you start from a low mineral to a high mineral, mm -hmm. and I think it's very important that um, just recently, at least eighty percent of our traditional British. Victorian water fountains across the UK are not being used. They're either cemented in, cigarette butts, or the irony of plastic bottles just yeah, being left in them. Yeah. And I encourage government councils to re- Get them back. And the beauty of these mm -hmm. uh, water fountains for public, and we've got great history here in the UK of providing this. I'm only doing this because we're almost out of time. The program's been finished. So I've just opened this stunning box. It says water is gold. It's a very special And I water. don't know if you can see that. If I sit over here, can you see that? Uh, where's camera six? Straight in front of us. And I'll bring a bottle. Oh, you can't because of my yellow dress. Yeah. See the golden specks. But can, let me pour some. Will the gold not poison us? What, what use is the gold I'm fine in with it? drinking this. The natural gold has antiseptic properties. It's been used for wow. centuries. This water from Slovenia comes from a very special spring. And recently... They um, found a seahorse, a 12.5 million fossil seahorse at the actual spring. And it's to create an experience and the discussion and the value of water. So, Millen, last words to you in yes. 10 seconds or so. What should people be taking away? What should they be thinking about their water from here on in? Respect tap water for your daily hydration. Um, make sure your kids are educated in regards to describing the taste of water. Make sure the kids have plenty of water on the way to school and also the schools to encourage drinking water and creating a vocabulary and including more water technology. What would a bottle of this set you back out of interest? It's a talking point, £150. But that should create what is the value of water. 150 quid. But have you ever drunk gold before? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only, by mistake. Only by mistake. <laughs> okay. That's Millen Patel. Willen is a water sommelier. We must say goodbye to you because we must go and have mm. a wee. <laughs> but we will be back tomorrow uh, from 6am. Cheers. This is good stuff. Thanks, Millen. Thank you.